All right, we are working on the little sheet that says the ant and the dove. It's a little story. Let me get it so I can show my virtual friend. Looks like this. So I am going to read it. It's a short story. It's a fable. A fable is a short story that has a lesson to it, something to learn. It's a teachable story, usually short. There is a series of things that happen. And so we are going to read The Ant and the Dove, so you need to pay attention to what happens in the story. A thirsty ant crawled to the edge of the river to quench its thirst. The rapidly moving stream snatched the ant as it rushed by and almost drowned it. A white dove sitting on a tree plucked a leaf and let it fall into the stream close to him. The ant climbed on the leaf and floated to safety on the bank of the river. Not long after this event, a hunter came and stood under the same tree from which the dove had watched the struggling ant. The hunter sighted the dove and drew his bow to pierce his target. The ant, perceiving the plan, stung him on the foot. The hunter cried out in pain and dropped his bow. The noise made the dove fly away. So the moral of the story, but one good turn deserves another. Yes, Jeremiah. Um, I know when Eric died, Tim and I continue. Yes. Yeah. Is everyone in a what? A bear. Ooh, I have heard that is extremely painful. Thank goodness we don't have them around here. But even a red ant, if you um, get a fire ant or their little red ants, they can, they hit, they bite, they hurt too. So what I want you to, what we're going to discuss are consequences and implications. So, Some very specific things happen in this short little story. So we start out by what event happens? What is the first consequence that happens? Something happens to the ant. What is the ant doing? Look at your story. Thirsty ant what? The very first sentence. What did the ant do? Grayson. Um, it called to the water to get a drink. And what happened? Jonathan. Um, it, it was so fast. And no, what happened to the ant? Um, it fell in the water. Yes. Actually. So, no, actually, that's it. The ant fell in the water. So when you think of the ant falling in the water, he's struggling, what do you think the implication is, meaning what is the consequence of that? What is, could happen? It says it right in your story. Fall in his um, moving, snatch the ant, rush by, and almost what? Grayson. Um, the ant almost drowned. So, what happens next? What is the first consequence? So the first consequence is the ant. 
Then what happens? Who enters the story? Olivia. Oh, the, dove. the dove. What does the dove do? When Sheen. Well, what is the act? What is the actual action that the dove does? He sees the ant sees what? What the, I mean, what the dove sees what? What? Just say it. So what does the dove do? Owen. What is the implication or what is the what is the effect of that? So the dove sees the ant struggling, throws a leaf in the water. What is the implication of that? What happens? Because the dove threw the leaf in the water. Does the leaf just float down the stream? Emmy. The ant climbs up on it. So does the ant drown? No. So that is, a, that is like the first series of events. And you're thinking, well, that was nice of the dove to save the ant. How does that domino effect occur when something else happens? So the ant is saved. The ant goes uh, to the, uh, goes to shore and is okay. And so now the dove is sitting on the tree. What happens? Gabe. The hunter comes. What is the hunter going to do? Jeremiah. So what are we, what is your thought, the implication of that? If the hunter comes and is preparing to shoot the dove, what does that mean for the dove? Just like when the ant fell in the water, what is the implication of that? What could happen? Jonathan. Uh, will the dove get killed? All right, so now what? The story has another twist. It's a very short story with a lot of twists in it. So the ant, I mean, the dove is in a tree. A hunter is drawing his bow. Who sees this? Yes, Owen. So what is the consequence of the hunter is coming to shoot the net. So then what is the ant is saved by the dove? The dove is now in trouble. What does the ant do? When Sheen. So ant sees the hunter. So the ant stings the hunter. 
So what is the overall consequence of the story? The moral is one good turn or one good deed deserves another. So we have two very different scenarios, but both scenarios contain the same characters. So who does the first act of kindness? Jack. The dove. The dove. What is the second act of kindness? Jeremiah. The ant saves the dog. So interesting. Here is a thought. If this did not happen, if the dove did not save the ant, then the ant could not have saved the dove. The ant would have drowned and the dove would have been killed. So they both save each other in a very interesting series of events. So these little fables are so interesting because they aren't very long, but they're packed full of all kinds of interesting facts and interesting events. So we are going to talk a little bit more about this tomorrow. We're going to talk about sequencing, which is going to delve deeper into what happens in the story, when and how. But you did a good job. So this, um, do you ever see little events happen that are interesting? Like this is obviously not as dramatic as this, but life has interesting twists and turns. And these fables, which I find fun, has anyone ever heard of Aesop's fables? Fables are, they are a very famous book of fables such as these that are full of different messages and things to learn. So that is our first little introduction to a fable. And you did great. We're going to do more of this because it helps us with our comprehension. It helps us to read deeper into the meaning of a story. So you did a good job. We are going to do more of this because it's going to help you when you take comprehension exams to be able to understand what the text is saying. Because as you get older, in fact, if we do have that test this spring, it's all that fact, it's called fact test. It's all about on the computer where you're going to read stories and you have to answer questions, just like this. So it's going to help you with that. So that concludes, we're gonna do a little reading so you all can read out of your Martin Luther King book if you still have that to done or, or if you're done with that, you can read something on your own.